Hey guys, and welcome to the European Challenge Battles Review. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Split 1 Challenge Battles to see how things shook out and see what this means moving forward. The three Challenger Series teams were Lemon and Lime, Fluffy Chickens, and Late Cobras. The three Vainglory 8 teams were Rising Lotus, Denial Esports, and Mouse Sports. Our first series of the day was Rising Lotus vs. First Place Challenger Series team Lemon and Lime. Lemon and Lime chose Rising Lotus as their opponent in the hopes of acquiring the delicious 8 points that Lotus were sitting on at the end of Split 1. Game 1 was solidly Lemon and Lime as they picked Rising Lotus apart. Strong and FL just um, takes them off the face of the fold. Lemon and Lime took Game 1, but woke a sleeping giant as in Game 2 Rising Lotus came back with incredible gameplay, utilizing a crystal power sky to punish Apfel's Rona. Kill comes through, who are just doing an absolute ton of work right now. Rose offensive over the wall, he is going to be able to chase down Apfel. He's doing a lot of damage back though, but he is going to get taken out eventually. Game 3 was close, but decisive late game team fighting gave Lotus the edge they needed, as they took the ace with Kraken bearing down on their vein crystal turrets, giving them just enough time to race Kraken and end the game. Hell's Devils and Agony ends up falling, and now Apfel's in the 1v1 and Luer takes it, rising low. Up 2-1, going into Game 4, Rising Lotus pulled out the CP Ringo, countering the Vox from Mr. K Cool. However, even with this counter pick, it took 34 minutes before the final fight was won by Lotus to secure them the game, the series, and their place in the Vainglory 8. This series, if they can just end the game, and I think they can, they've only need to kill two turret, well, three turrets, and they've got the ace buff, tasty. The second series for the European Challenge Battles was Denial Esports vs Fluffy Chickens, a true barn burner, going the full distance and pushing both teams to their limits. Game 1, Fluffy Chickens came out strong, showcasing their past competitive experience as Ponchik, Aeon, and Ryu Rin utilized an Ozo Lance Vox composition to full effect. Aeon, he's gonna find another mark as well, Tespe did fall in the back. Game 2, Fluffy Chickens drafted a Celeste for Ponchik, which he used to bully Tesfay's Vox, punishing Vox's short range and eventually securing the win with incredibly clean team fighting. To just snare them up, Bashin's in a lot of trouble, but he's not the man they want to go for. Tesfay is going to get chased down, he's going to get hacked down. Aeon is looking for Bashin here, Bashin is going to fall as well. Game 3 of the series was flipped on its head as Ozo was picked again, but this time went to Denial Esports. Paired with Fortress and Blackfeather, there was no hope for Ponchik's Ringo, as Ryo Rin's Flicker could not provide enough defensive capability. For Denial, can Aeon do it? Can he pull through for the likes of... Oh my goodness. Game 4 was a back and forth battle that eventually went the way of Denial, with their mass sustained composition of Adagio, Petal, and a life-stealing Vox build. Two members al alone and, and stranded is, is Aeon right now, and I think that's going to be game. You're right, Tasty. There's no way in. Going into Game 5, everything was on the line. With high stakes and incredible pressure, Fluffy Chicken stepped up, knocking Denial Esports out of the Vainglory 8, and claiming not only their place in the Vainglory 8, but also the three points that Denial were sitting on. Crucible offs. I'm the Doom is going to be the next target. He just melts. Our third challenge battles matchup of the day was Mouse Sports vs. Late Cobras. Going into this series, it felt hard to predict who would come out on top. By the end of the series, I would feel quite silly for doubting the legends that are Great Kali and Emmer King. End up starting that one. Scorpion Bro picks up one, he picks up the second, and Mouse Sports really taking off now. Greymaker activates his termination protocol, does get Githy and Morty's gonna jump onto Scorpion Bro, but no damage is there to follow up. Scorpion Bro will probably secure this triple kill for himself. It's hard to say if it was the threat of being knocked out of the Vainglory 8 or Mouse's sub Scorpion Bro stepping up, but game two was a similar story as Scorpion Bro got Blackfeather for the second time and a second win. Is he gonna fall? He has to at some point. He ends up going down, tried to reposition, just did not work. Great Kali in the back line as well, single-handedly taking care of Lane King. Up 2-0 going into game 3, Mouse put on a clinic, drafting a Dagio Rona Arden and punishing the aggressive tendencies out of Late Cobra's composition, ultimately taking the win without losing a single turret, securing the series 3-0 and defending their place in the Vainglory 8. Absolutely definitive series. The most clear-cut series we've had in the challenge battles for Europe. 
At the end of the day, the final results were Rising Lotus defending their place in the Vainglory 8, beating Lemon and Lime 3-1, Denial Esports dropping their Vainglory 8 place in an epic series as Fluffy Chickens rose to the occasion to take the win 3-2, as well as the 3 points that Denial earned and split 1 of Vainglory 8. And lastly, a reinvigorated Mouse Sports reminded us of why they are in the Vainglory 8, as they knocked off Late Cobras 3-0, potentially building some momentum for themselves heading into Split 2. So welcome Fluffy Chickens to Vainglory 8 and prepare yourselves as these players are coming in with massive experience and the ability to take down top teams. This has been your Challenge Battles review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.